Hello there, Reason users, Pooh Bear here, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at taking a stereo signal and turn it into a mono signal, really for actually exporting as a mono track. Obviously, if you just wanted a mono signal and you're just keeping it all inside Reason, you can just take this width knob and just turn it down, and that's it. That's your job done. But most of the time, people actually want to take a stereo signal and turn it into a mono signal, really for exporting. So that's what I'm going to go through now. Now, I've got myself a very basic little bit of um, data. And as you can hear, my sound is really flip flip flopping between it. So I wanted a real nice um, fat stereo field because I'm going to demonstrate some other things later on as well. So here's going to be the actual kicks way of doing it. I'm going to take this gain tool. In fact, I'm going to flip around to the back of the rack and I'm going to show you first that when I grab this gain tool and drop it over here, I'm going to hold down the shift key and it auto wires for me. Hey, hey, I'm going to break one of my golden rules, which is I'm going to remove the right hand cable, which I always say, don't remove the right hand cable, but I'm going to today. And then I'm going to turn on this mono button right here. Now I'm actually ready to export this, but I'm not going to do it down in the bottom here. Cause if I do it down here and you do a bounce in place down here, if I can click on the right screen, it'd help me. There we go. We've got ourselves actually still a stereo track, which is something we don't want. So I was going to quickly go up to file and then we're going to come to the bounce mixer channel options. Then under here, I'm going to make sure we've got ourselves Thor and make sure it's set to all except fader section because a lot of time it'd be set to all. I'm going to come down here. I want the loop. So I'm going to keep it nice and short and I'm going to send it to a track and also I can send it off to disc if I want to. I'm going to click OK. Bomb. Here we go. Here is our mono track. Brilliant. That's it. That's your job done. Don't have to do anything else. But for those who haven't seen my previous videos, I just wanted to go over a couple of things like where people, you see a lot of people, especially in the post, they say, just remove your right hand channel, or remove your right hand channel. And I'm gonna to say to you, no, you don't just remove your right hand channel. So I just remove my right hand channel. Here we go, there we go, done. I can actually go up to here again, and I'm gonna do exactly the same export we did before. Uh, but this time I'm gonna make sure that's my Thor, which is selected. Yes, all, yes, yes, same place, click okay. Boom, and you can see the waveforms, you can see just how different they are because I'm missing half of my stereo field. So these should be filled in, these gaps, and as you can see, they're totally missing. They should be like, this is how it should look, like this. <laughs> and as you can see, there's nothing missing there. So that's one reason why I would say, don't just remove your right hand channel, like people say. Now, another option people I know come up with, they say, use a spider. Yeah, you can use a spider, but I'm gonna say, don't do it that way. Just use the gain method. If you use the spider method and we do it like this, you've got to be really, really careful with your amplitude. So I'm gonna come down here and go file. I'm actually gonna do bounce mixture channel again. So it could be that you've got loads of like um, compressors and other things further down the line. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna select Thor only, same setting, same setting, same settings, and click okay. Boom, and here it is. So if I now put that up next to this one here, and we can sort of double click into them, you can actually see the difference in amplitude. This is so much louder, because obviously we've got double the signal going down that channel. So just be aware of that, because I say you could have other um, instruments, or other instruments might have other devices, especially with compressors and everything, so all the thresholds are set up wrong, so it's just not gonna work. But yeah, use the gain tool. As I say, we can click on the mono, do it, output it, job done. Anyway, nice quick video. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.